Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about local attraction. In case you haven't watched the videos on magnetic meridian, four bearing and back bearing, please do watch those videos and then come here to understand the concept better. I have attached the link to those videos in the description box below. Now let us jump into the topic. So uh, while we were learning about our magnetic meridian, what did we learn? We learned that when needle is suspended, it will without any local attraction, it will point towards the magnetic north. That is what we have learned. But what if there is some local attraction? It will not point towards the magnetic north. Instead, it will point towards some other direction. There are many reasons why we get local attraction. It is because of the local magnetic field produced by substances like steel tapes, metals, magnetite in the earth, steel structures, electric currents, keys, rails, axe, iron pipes and uh, so many other metals. So uh, we, can, uh, we cannot find uh, the local attraction that has been present with a single observation. In order to find the presence of local attraction, we have to take various readings. So uh, there is one principle from which we can find uh, the local attraction. Uh, in the previous videos, we have, we have learned about four bearing and back bearing, right? What did we learn? The difference between four bearing and back bearing will always be equal to 180 degrees. So we are going to use this principle. So whenever we are going to take uh, the reading of any two lines, we will take the both four bearing and back bearing. So when we are doing that, we have to make sure that the four bearing minus back bearing of a line is always equal to 180 degree. If it is not equal to 180 degree, then we can find that a local attraction has been present in that station. So jumping into a quick example to understand it clear, I have got this problem. I have got lines A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. It is a closed traverse because it starts with A and ends with A. Uh, and uh, I have my four bearing and back bearing. I have to find uh, the back bearing of the line D, A. So after getting the problem, we have to find the difference between four bearing and back bearing as a first step. Difference between uh, the four bearing and back bearing of A, B is 241 minus 62, uh, which is 179 is not equal to 180 degree mind you and next is 164 minus 344 the difference uh, it is 180 degrees and here 182 minus 4 which is 178 degrees from this uh, value uh, it is clear that uh, the station BC is free from local attraction I mean the line BC is free from local attraction because the difference is 180 degree if the line BC is free from local attraction it implies that both B and C both stations B and C are free from local attraction so if B and C are free from local attraction then that means that the back bearing of AB which uh, obviously involves B is also free from local attraction similarly the four bearing of CD which involves C is also free from local attraction. My correct values are 241, 164, 344 and 182. I need to find this. I know that uh, this is my correct value. So uh, in order to get the correct uh, back bearing what I have to do? I have to subtract I mean the four bearing plus or minus back bearing is 180 degree. So I have to subtract or add 180 degree in order to find my back bearing, the true back bearing. So what I do here is this is greater than 180 degree. So in order to get my back bearing, I have to subtract 180 degree from this. So my true back bearing is going to be not uh, 4, but it is going to be 182 minus 182 minus 180, which is equal to 2 degrees. So my true back bearing is going to be 2 degrees and not 4 degree. Now uh, uh, the difference between 4 and 2 is minus 2. So I have applied a correction of minus 2 here in order to get my correct uh, uh, back bearing. So I have to apply the same correction here in order to get the correct 4 bearing. I am applying the same correction here minus 2 which gives me the value 90 minus 2 is 88 degrees. Now 
in order to find our last value which is our unknown we have to we know we have got our four bearing we have to add or subtract 180 degree as 88 is less than 180 degree i am going to add 180 degrees which will give me 268 degree my answer is 268 degree this is how we solve a problem involving local attraction uh, there is also a special case involved in these types of problem uh, say i have my differences have one of my differences is 180 degree say if my differences not none of my differences is going to be 180 degree say this is also 182 degree in that case i have to uh, take some uh, some line as my reference right in that case where i don't have anything uh, that equals 180 degree i have to choose a station that is uh, that has got least difference from 180 degree 179 is closer to 180 when compared to 182 and 178 here also the difference is 2 2 but here the difference is 1 so i have to take the station with the least difference uh, as my reference line that is one that is the special case we have to take least difference i have also included a practice problem here uh, they have to find the value of this shaded box uh, please do find it and let me know the answer in the comment section below uh, please do like share and subscribe the channel see you guys in the next video bye